Russia fired cruise missiles at Ukraine on Friday for the first time in more than two months. The air raid in Kyiv lasted almost two hours and all the missiles heading towards the Ukrainian capital were intercepted and destroyed by Western supplied air defences. The central parts of the country also saw strikes. One person was killed and four others were injured in the city of Pavlograd. Six long-range surface-to-air missiles were fired at the eastern Kharkiv region, with residential buildings destroyed, one dead and several others injured. The new attacks come as Vladimir Putin announced that he will stand for re-election for the fifth time as Russian president when his term ends next year. Our correspondent Jess Parker is in Kyiv with this update. President Putin's announcement that he's going to stand for a further term in office isn't exactly welcome news here in Ukraine, but does rather make a point that he can seemingly hold on to power while many believe he is waiting for Western support for Ukraine to ebb away and crack. And the next week or so could be a crucial test of that. There are two packages of support that appear to be in jeopardy because of political wrangling. One is economic assistance from the European Union and the other is defence aid from the United States. Many billions of pounds worth that has been caught up, entangled in domestic political issues. Now for Ukraine as winter sets in and after its faltering counter-offensive the idea that U.S. defence aid could start to dry up is almost unthinkable. So crucial has it been on the battlefield. So Ukrainians will be hoping, praying, that what President Putin may believe is proven to be wrong. Ukraine's First Lady Olena Zelenska has warned that Ukrainians will be left to die if Western countries don't continue to support the war effort. In the two years since Russia's invasion, the country has relied on billions of dollars from its overseas allies. In an exclusive interview with the BBC's Laura Kunzberg, the First Lady expressed grave concern over delays in funding, saying Ukrainians were in mortal danger. We do need aid desperately. In simple terms, we cannot get tired of the situation because otherwise we will die. And if the world gets tired, they will simply let us die.